day two of Vlogmas and I come bearing gifts. Um, I've been awake for a little while. I'm going into my dad's room to show you my little man. Hello there. Is this your new bed? Actually, I'll go in and annoy my brother. Um, I had to get up. What are you playing? Here you play oh, computer I'm not playing games. Anything now. Okay, I'll come downstairs. Um, I got up like kind of late, but I was doing like um Skype calls and meetings and boring emails and stuff. But now I'm ready to start my day. For breakfast, I had fruit and I had Greek yogurt, and it was so good. Um, I forgot to film it, but uh, I have forgotten to make my matcha tea. I kind of want coffee though. I'm gonna make a really healthy, easy mocha. And what I'm doing is just getting a cube of dark chocolate and I'm popping that in the bottom of my cup. I love this cup, it's so cute. We got it in Tesco, it's like little Santi on it. Um, okay, I'm gonna plunge my coffee first. Um, and I like the proper coffee. Like I, I cannot drink instant. I'm a little bit of a coffee snob. FYI, but uh, yeah, no, there's nothing better than like really strong, proper coffee. So I'm just gonna pour that in onto the chocolate and I'm putting that like about halfway up the cup. So like, I'm not filling it all the way and putting it to about there and then I'm gonna add in almond milk and some like coconut sugar on the top. So you, little guy, get back down there. So I've got my coconut almond milk again. This is just kind of like a blend of the two milk types. And then just one spoon, one teaspoon of coconut sugar. And that's what the sugar looks like. So I'm going to mix that in there. And then I'm gonna kind of loosen up the, the chocolate at the end and like stir it so that it all melts into the coffee. So I actually had patience today and I waited um, to open my chocolate with you guys. Where is day two? I'm so blind. Lovely. Hey, I wanted another bunny. <laughs> Feck. So we're on to the second giveaway prize. And if you watch my first vlog once, you'll know how to enter this. Oh no. Ruining the box. Okay. Oh, this is one of my favorite body shop products. This isn't for you though, mister. This is the Vitamin E Moisture Cream and I love this entire range. So if you want to win this, make sure you do a little edit for Twitter or Instagram. Can we show them where like Nana's old house was and stuff before we go to the gym? Yeah. We'll go for a wander around the town. Oh, he's settling in, right? Like, look at you. You're loving it. I, I feel like he's happier in this house than he was even in our old one. And I thought, guys, like, I thought pets take ages to get used to a new house, but, like, he's doing grand. He keeps flopping onto his belly. Like, he normally doesn't even do that because he was a rescue cat. Like, he, he's so nervous all the time. Are you a cat or a dog person? Vote down in the comments. <laughs> Which is better? Aren't you better? Aren't you better? No, I do really want a dog, but, like, I love cats so much. I could eat your face. There's nothing better than Friends reruns. <laughs> we just watch Friends all day. Like, I, and do you know what? Yesterday, it had the last episode, but then it went, like, right back to the first episode again. I love when it does that. They, they do that all the time. I know. It makes me so happy, but I hated this stupid monkey. I've been doing my makeup. Yeah, me and Gabby, um, you know, Velvet Ghost, like, we had this kind of, like, Monica off once on Twitter, and I won. I'm Monica. She can be Rachel. I set up my dressing table and stuff like that, but look, like I got oil um, in under the glass and I don't know how to get that out. If anyone else has the dressing table from Ikea, just kind of help a, a girl out on this because I, I don't know what to do. A little nice big rose gold candle and in it is the Body Shop Frosted Plum Candle and over here I have, um, these are like pictures from different like YouTube things. So this is me, Meg Says and My Pale Skin at Fleur de Force's launch and then this is me and Cloudy Apples and her boyfriend Terry um, when we were in Canada at Buffer Festival. But yeah, what I did was with my skin this morning, I used my vitamin C microdermabrasion stuff. I had this in my recent haul from like Lush and the Body Shop and then this is the Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer, which I need in the winter time. Need that glow. So what am I gonna wear today? Like, just kind of a plain, neutral kind of makeup look. I love these, the BAM eyeshadow palettes. You already know that. But a couple of things I have never shown you before is, this is from Lush, right? This is called, um, go on, focus your feck. Uh, light pink. It's like a skin supplement kind of thing. It's for like pale skinned people with like pink undertones, which is what I have. And then this is a lipstick from 
Tarte and this was sent to me by um, another YouTuber, a viewer as well, a beauty moment, I believe her channel is called and it's called My Bear or Merry Berry actually. Um, so I always feel like it's a very Christmassy lipstick. I'm not sure how well you can see but there's like little bits like glints of kind of glitter like blue glitter and all sorts of stuff in this and uh, I just think it's a really nice one for Christmas. Another one is this and I've definitely talked about other things from this range before the Smashbox kind of blendable sticks but this is the highlight one and um, it's so easy to use. I normally don't get on well with cream highlighters but I really really like this a lot and um, I did a job with Smashbox there like last week where I did like a QA and a in the store in Blanchardstown with them and it was with like their head like makeup artist and stuff like that. I really like Smashbox stuff like I'm also using this at the minute. This is their eyebrow kind of pencil it's their brow tech gloss stick and uh it's so handy this is the brunette one which is so handy like i love that their products are like makeup artist quality but you know they're they're not like too expensive but i feel like they're definitely worth the investment and it's they're especially great for christmas presents and stuff this gives such a stunning glow to the tops of your cheeks for winter and it's this is like a key thing in my winter makeup routine right now. I love it so much. It's called, what's it called? Hollywood and Highlight. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's do this face, people. My bro and I are making our luncheons. Okay, so I'm starting these Harry Potter books again because that's just what you do at this time of year. Just in case you didn't realize, I have all of the old covers. Um, but what I'm having is sweet chili salmon and this is one of like the responsibly farmed, I don't know if that's really good or not, but I really, really, really like these salmon fillets. And we get these big salad bowls that have olives and I love olives so bad. And I also here have this is hummus and in it is like seeds and spices and stuff. And I'm gonna heat up a wholemeal pita bread. So I'm gonna put hummus into a pita bread and then put some salad and salmon on a plate. And there you go. Oh, pizza though. I want pizza. Pizza, pizza yes. I'm listening to my friend Bri. I'm always so proud of myself when I make a healthy derm lunch. So I'm gonna go in now with my little tray. The memories of this is crazy, isn't it, Bilbo? My first vlog literally just went live and people are already like tweeting me pictures of it. It's so cute. This girl is amazing, Immy. Hello, didn't I tell you I was gonna feature you in my vlog? She is just, like, I followed her back on Twitter and we've talked quite a lot through messaging and stuff, but I just want you to know, girl, that you are so amazing. You're so supportive, you're beautiful, you're a lovely person, and I love how enthusiastic you are about my channel. It just makes me so happy. I'm quite liking my new background, actually. Guys, thumbs up if you like this more than my other one. It's quite plain, um, but I just think it's a nice change up and it's nice and red for the holidays. One thing you need to know about me is I'm extremely annoying. <laughs> Excuse me, what did you just say? 
You are annoying. <laughs> How dare you? My brother and I are ready to go for a stroll because it's kind of getting a bit late, but I like when it's um, kind of dark outside, but I'm just wearing like a big woolly Christmassy type jumper and my ripped Topshop jeans and I'm wearing a leather jacket. I never thought I'd be one for leather jackets, um, but someone told me recently that um, this suited me when I wore it and I remember being real uncomfortable when I went out and I was like, oh, I feel weird. Do you know when you wear something that you don't normally wear and you just feel like a bit of a weirdo? Are you ready, brother? I started crossing the road without him and just left him, left him for dead. The lapping of the water, the water lapping against the sand. Something I do like today, the ocean. Something I don't like today, Sam Pepper. Did any of you sign that petition to get him kicked off YouTube? Because I did. Fucking wanker. The seagulls are just having their daily meeting. <laughs> Why? Like, look, there's so much rock and they're just all... They're obviously having a chat, you know what I mean? Okay, this is bizarre for us because our parents, obviously, like, they broke up when we were, like, really little kids. But our dad moved to see up there that apartment was like where he first moved to do you remember the first time i went in after they broke up and i vomited all over the carpet yeah and uh I, it was just so weird like you probably know if your parents are split up like when you're a kid it's just like a really shocking thing it was thing. so cold in there we had to have um, a little heater by the side oh by, yeah by yeah. the tv <laughs> like what so we, we used to do to like death. it's called the stable yard but what we used to do is like we would all like huddle in with the heater and we'd play Nintendo 64 computer games with my dad and um, <laughs> Zelda Majora's Mask and Zelda Ocarina of Time are my childhood like so I have such a good a positive association with them and see this big house here I like broke in there when I was little and um, do you remember Harriet the Spy yeah it's like a kids movie but that was um, the house. Yeah, oh, I, didn't know that. I actually went in like the back window <laughs> I'm such a little fucker see this wall I stuck a piece of chewing gum onto this wall right and it was called Philly Folly Gum was the type of chewing gum that it was and it stayed how long how many years was it on the wall six years six years that piece of gum stayed on that wall proud of that oh <laughs> so sick leave um like a story about your childhood down in the comments so i can read it and get to know a bit more about you please and um, because i really like learning about you guys if you've seen the movie the holiday leave a comment and tell me if it's good so i can rent it out on dvd because like i don't um I don't have it, I've never seen it, and I only want to get it if it's meant to be good. Oh god, we're gonna die! And then we're getting now to where my grandmother used to live. And see this church, right? It used to like look a billion times bigger than that. Um, Cause you ever revisit somewhere from your childhood and the places are just tiny compared to what they were when you were smaller. They put up the town Christmas tree with no decorations on it for some reason. But yeah, this is the church that she lived beside and um, we used to, us to play down here, but they've since done up the house like really nicely. I think a woman bought it from Germany or something like that and um, she kind of renovated it and stuff, but this is where my dad really wanted to live. Um, look how pretty and it has like red doors now. Um, and we've been inside it, like we did ask her one time, could we go in? Um, this is mental, like so many memories in this house. Oh, I miss Nana. Yeah. Remember I used to do Irish dancing here. <laughs> yeah. Excuse the runners, I'm wearing A6 because they're better for walking in. Okay. And you never learn to dance. And you never learn to sing. <laughs> oh, they have all the Christmas chocolates. No, no. I love these. I think my dad is locked outside his house. This is my friend Simon, by the way. There he is. Not boring. Talking okay. About, talking about politics. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like them Star Wars movies. You like, you know the later Star Wars movies, Natalie Portman in them. I like them. I don't care. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm right, as always. He's a funny shy. And the storytelling. I know Jar Jar Binks is crap, but like Anakin is okay. He's bearable. He's not. Yeah, he is. He's horrible. I'll fight you. He's the worst thing about it. <laughs> Laughing at how bad my decorating skills are. Look at this. Like, don't, don't, don't hire me anytime soon to decorate your houses for Christmas. And I just stuck. That was like the spare star, and I just stuck it up there. But that's not even properly on top of the tree. It's just kind of like poked in. Ah, uh, 
Well, at least we have a gingerbread man. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Would it be really weird if I just cooked my family a whole bag of sweet potatoes for dinner <laughs> with some vegetables? I can actually make a pretty decent sweet potato fry, like sweet potato chips. I'm kind of figuring out how to make them by themselves um, a lot better, a lot tastier with like spices and herbs and shiz. Asher, that'll do. Just put, put them in like that. You be grand. My dad got home there from work and he's not feeling very well, unfortunately. I get so like upset and stressed when any of my family aren't well or like if they're stressed or anything like that, it like really, really affects me. I don't know if that's just me, but um, yeah, like I, I, I'm, I just wanna like make him nice big dinner now and cuddle up and watch the second Star Wars movie. Um, and we're not actually going to go to the gym next day because we did go for quite a long walk. So we're going to go tomorrow and we'll bring you guys with us to the gym tomorrow for a nice sweaty workout. Oh god, I'm in a doc Ugh. I'm in a documentary tomorrow on TV. I'm just um I'm using my Liz Earl um cleanse and polish. Is that even focusing? Probably not. Um I'm using this to remove my makeup because it's the bomb. I love it. I had it in my favourites video. Um and it's so good for your skin. Because as you probably know. When I get PMS, my skin breaks out like mad. Um, check that out, I'm such a ride. <laughs> uh, a ride is what you call, I don't know, like we use such weird slang words in Ireland. Like we say ride if like someone's hot, you say they're a ride. All my muslin cloths are in the wash, so I'm just using some cotton pads to like actually take the bulk of makeup off. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just kind of go and chill with them now. Um, please thumbs up today's vlog as if you liked it and let me know if you're excited about a whole month of this, of actual life. Look, unglamorous life. Look at me. Why my face goes so red when I'm taking my makeup off. So I just did my second cleanse there in the bathroom with some water and now I'm going to apply a serum. Check out them shoes. This is one of my several skincare drawers, but I actually do have some of my step three of Clarigen left. I just don't have the face wash. And this is the acne brand that I've always talked about and stuff that I have a 15% off code for. Um, I'm obsessed with it, but like it's this face wash that I always run out of and it's just so annoying. Um, I can barely get anything out of the tub left. Actually, I've, I might as well get rid of that. This serum is so good for hydration um, and it's quite affordable. It's the Qualia Thermal Vichy one and I've talked about this in a lot of videos but it pumps your skin full of hyaluronic acid and it's just like so, oh it's such a good affordable serum. So I think I'll edit and upload this vlog for tomorrow before I settle down and um, I might have a bath in the morning, a Lush bath because I realised I have loads of the Christmas bath bombs from Lush left still um, and I'm going to have to wash my hair and sort it out again because like it's already gone crazy oh it's so windy and scary it's because it's beside the sea there's just so much wind um i could talk to you guys all day i better go and shut up now thank you for watching and i'll see you again